Hey guys, we're on for Red Moto. So today we're gonna to be working on this 2017 Toyota Tundra rear bumper end cap removal and installation. Uh, a little twist today though. I know a lot of our customers have been wondering if this paint to match cover will actually delete the chrome version and be a direct fit. So we're gonna do two videos today. We're gonna to go ahead and remove it and install it. And also try to test fit this paint to match uh, bumper end cap to see if it's actually a direct fit. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. And if you guys need any pre-painted auto body parts for your car, go to redmoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. And we'll have the link down below for you guys to buy this chrome piece or the paint to match um, rear bumper end cap. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so just looking at this bumper right here, we know we gotta remove the top pad right here. And it looks like it's gonna be one whole piece but i don't think we need to take off like the whole end cap uh top pad we're gonna go ahead and look underneath and there should be like some clips that we need to remove so let's see how that looks like all right so if you guys are underneath your vehicle right here you're gonna see these these like little clips you can kind of sometimes they wear and tear you can just push them up like that and you hear it clicking already and right here also so those clips right there we gotta take off. So there's gonna be one right there, two, three, and one hidden back there, and one right here. So you actually don't take them off, you just kind of pop them up or, or off. So we can go ahead and uh, get that top pad kind of like up a little bit. So let's see how we're gonna do this. So one method that I do see people uh, utilize to pop this off is that they Go ahead and wedge something flat and soft like that in there. So that actually works out really well. So you remove this piece right here. Okay, so that actually works. All right, so you know what I was wrong. I thought it was like one whole long piece is actually uh, one piece right here, a separate piece. So let me see what this looks like. Right. So this piece right here, so this piece right here has this uh, clip that looks like this, and the, the difficult parts are these ones right here. So you guys can see, there's two part of it. One you gotta push over here, and then one you gotta push over here. But it looks like when you release one and you kind of push up on here, it release both of them. So. You just kind of release one and you got to put a little bit of pressure on the top pulling it up and it'll release the rest of them so this is like little flat this is called a panel removal tool so it's flat but i guess like a flat head will work also but just remember when you have a flat head you're gonna damage that chrome piece so if your chrome piece is already damaged then you, you don't have to worry about it you can use that flat head but let's go ahead and try on the other side too So this one's already kind of brittle and broken right here. So let's see. All right. So right underneath right here is going to be a clip. So we're going to go ahead and take that off. So we're going to go back underneath right here. And then right underneath, you can see right here, it's going to be a clip. So it's going to be a little push pin. So let's see if I can take it off with this fly. Yeah, so just use the flat thing. You guys can see how I'm trying to do it. I'm just gonna go ahead and wedge something in the middle right there and kind of pry it down to separate the two. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera back on top because it's hard to do it with one hand. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take this off. And just remember, these are kind of brittle and if you break them, just go to any hardware store or Toyota and they'll give you one. Well, not give you one, they'll sell you one. I think they're around like and I would say like two dollars a piece right around the area there we go okay all right so looks like that I'm gonna put that in the side and let's see if this one goes we can go ahead and remove it up I'm just gonna have to pry it up a little bit 
Let's see what's getting stuck on here. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this, uh, I guess like the, it's a license plate light. Just pops right out. Unplug it. Okay. All right. So what I think is happening right here, this is gonna be those uh, clips that's just sitting right there. So let's take a look. Yep. So from underneath it's easier to go ahead and uh, put a flat thing on the sides of those uh, clips and then uh, pop them off. Alright, there we go. This thing is getting kind of stuck on my way. All right, so if you guys want to go ahead and uh, kind of like hold this up a little bit, you guys can kind of already see the bolts over here. But I'm gonna see if I, for video purpose, I can kind of take this off. Just like a little screw right there. So if you guys look directly right there, there's gonna be a plastic uh, screw. So just use a screwdriver take that off take that off like that All right and it looks like that right there put that to the side and let's see okay I'm thinking this thing is giving me some problems right here so let me go look behind there and see what it looks like. All right, let me show you guys how I did this. So on this one right here, on the back of it, it you see it, it kind of moves. So if you press down on it, and then push out so on the bottom also has the same exact mechanism right here so you push down on this one and push down on the back on the bottom you can actually push this out a little bit so yeah so there you go so now we have more room to work with as you guys can see oh okay well that just fell it's because right here it's just a clip as you guys can see right there i press down on it from back here so you guys can see right here I pressed down on this one but it was hard for me to kind of pull this so I guess when I was pressing down on it and then I pulled it it just came right off so if you want to take this completely off let me show you guys how I did it from behind so it's just clipped on push this down and then pull okay so now that part is off all right so now we have a lot more room here so if you guys pull this back a little bit, see? Now you're gonna reveal all these screws right here. It's gonna be back here, it's gonna be two, three right there, and then one right there. And I'm gonna bet you there's gonna be some underneath. So let's double check, might be wrong. Nope. Three right, right here, it's gonna be two more right here. One more right here and right here. And that should go ahead and round out all those bolts. Alright guys, so I'm going to start off on the bottom right here. I'm just going to show you. It's going to start off on the side. So you guys can see. 
right there. Every time I point at it, it goes away. But on this one right here, you're gonna use a socket wrench right here. And it's gonna be a 12. A 12 right there. Go ahead and take this off. Just like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and loosen it up on it. I'm gonna take it off in a few minutes when I put you guys back on top. So it's gonna be another one right here. So one, two. You're gonna have to take off four of them. And then the other side, right here, it's gonna be another one. All right, so I'm gonna put you guys on top and you can watch me from top view. All right, so here we go. We're gonna start off on the side. We already got it loose. Go ahead and take that off. So if you guys have like an impact gun, this is a good time to use it. I'm using a hand ratchet because I know a lot of our viewers only have this kind of tool. Okay? So go ahead, it looks like that. And just be careful because these are bolts are kind of rusted so they might actually break. So that's off. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go on top right here. Well, I'll use my hand to hold it. So, get you guys a little bit closer so you guys can see a little bit better. All right, so, as you can see right here, same socket, it's gonna be a 12. You're gonna have to use a little bit of leverage because this thing is tight. That's one right there. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six to go. So again, it's kind of uh, hard. If you guys didn't notice, I switched from a long uh, socket to a smaller socket or a shorter socket so you guys can actually fit in between these so it looks like right here my socket got kind of stuck so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it up a little bit so I can loosen up my socket and then you guys can go ahead and untie it by hand. There's another one right here. It's always the last two that gives you a problem. So it's all about leverage. Okay. And the last one is gonna be over here. You can see it's already wanting to come off. Maybe we should have started off here first and then worked our way back. I think that's a better decision is starting off here and then working your way back. But as you guys can see, I use my body just hold on to here and loosen up that bolt. But if again, if you guys have a uh, impact gun, this works a lot faster for you. Oh, you know what you guys didn't see? It's this last bolt right here, I just noticed. So, right here, just to show you guys, this bracket is already trying to come off. So when I was trying to take this off, what's happening is that this thing was trying to fall off. So what I did was, I kind of used my, um, my arm right here, and I use some force while pushing back and then it it, it came on loose all right there we go all right so you should just be able to go ahead and 
pull it off. Just like that. Okay. All right. So what happened to this one is that the bracket came off too. So this bracket right here came off also. All right, so that bracket right there stays on with the chrome piece. And as you guys can see, right here, right here, now the bracket is off. All right, so everyone's question is, will this piece fit on here? So let's take a look. So, for me just looking at this, this piece won't fit on here just because this bracket right here is different. So the bracket right here is different. My professional advice would be how to get a painted end cap to fit on here would be a simple simple modification. You're gonna need to get the the um, the bracket for this end right here and then also a new top pad. So same thing on the other end, you're gonna need to get that bracket right here, change it out to the one that's for, for the paintable one, and then take off this top pad and then put a new one on so that's my advice so just to let you guys know that the paintable end cap does not fit directly on a chrome rear end cap okay so let's go ahead and put back the rear end cap so to put this rear, rear end cap back on I think like the best process would be to go ahead and put the bracket back on let's see how we did this it's a tricky part I'm trying to figure out how you put it back on all right let's see okay there we go all right so all those holes line up so you guys can see so we gotta look for to put this in it's like this and this piece right here goes right here and then you go ahead and line up all the holes so what we could do is go ahead and get these bolts and put them on there so I'm not cutting them I'm not tightening it up yet just because I know there's going to be adjustments when we put this bracket on. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and line this up. Over here. With this bracket right here. So these top holes right here. Oh, let's see what's going on here. Let's take the top hole. Now that I need to the bottom hole. Oh, okay. So you gotta push it in a little bit closer. Alright. So it's lined up. So let me show you guys how it looks like. So it's a little bit tricky, but it's not too complicated after you guys watch this video. So you guys go right here. See these end holes right there? Those holes gotta match up all the way towards here. Okay? What's the issue us underneath? Thank you. 
what you're gonna notice like this one right here there's a hole right here and it has to line up there and also this hole has to line up there but as you guys know we put that bracket on the bracket actually sits on sits on top so you guys when you guys put this bracket on to the uh, chrome piece they're gonna be together you gotta have to separate them because the top the bracket has to go on top of this and then this hole has to line up here and then now they all fit okay that was the problem we had in regards to making it all fit together all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and put it all together so again i'm gonna go on top oh actually bottom put these screws on the bottom first These two are good. And we got two bottom loops right here. All right. So I'm just gonna put these on right here, just hand tighten it because what it looks like is like misaligned a little bit. It looks like right there. So I'm gonna go on top, line it all together. Just like that. Okay. Alright. So you know what? I'm gonna loosen up this bottom piece right here. Because it needs to come in a little bit this way. So loosen this up. Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put these bolts on top. All right, so now we should be able to go ahead and tighten up everything. I'm just gonna look at the alignment over there. All right, that looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten up everything. So I'm also gonna show you guys on top right here why this paintable piece automatically, just taking it off without even dismantling the whole thing I can already tell it won't fit just because the lines don't match up correctly as you guys can see right here this there's like a, a slot right here and that's probably for a push pin right here also is probably for a push pin and over there is probably for a push pin so all around it looks like a push pin is supposed to be on there so and then as you guys can see none of the holes line up so I already knew all right off the bat that a bracket had to be changed out but I knew this would fit just because the size of it is the same exact size as the chrome piece all the way through. So I knew like the only way to uh, make this fit would be to get a new bracket right here, a new top pad, and then on the other side also you need a new bracket and a, and a top pad should all line up everything. And then you guys can go ahead and do that conversion. So if you guys want to do that conversion, go ahead and get this top, this uh, paintable piece from Red Moto. And then we can also, uh, yeah, actually we're gonna go ahead and get our team to kind of supply all the different equipments. So we'll work on that and put that link down below. So there you go. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up right here. This is already tying. On the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and tighten it up also. All right, so everything's already tying. Now you can go ahead and get all the plugs out and then you should go ahead and line up everything and then push down
All right, so that piece is done. And there's this piece right here. Remember, just line up with the holes, with the prongs. There we go. So that's good. If you guys disconnected these pieces, very simple. Go ahead and plug it back up. And you should hear that click. You should hear that click, so that means that it's in place. Let's see, is there a special way to put this? Just like that? Or is it like this? That's it. Okay, it looks like it's like this. Yeah, it looks like this one was already broken, someone glued it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and glue that right back on then. <laughs> so it looks like it was just glued on there. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so then we have this piece right here. This one's just clip on. So here that click and kind of tug on it and then push it in place. There we go. And then last but not least, this piece right here goes in here. Alright, there we go. Alright, so in this video guys, we showed you how to remove and install a 2016 or 17 Toyota Tundra, but it also worked for a 2014 to 2021 Toyota Tundra. Uh, we also showed you guys the difference between the chrome piece and the paintable piece and letting you guys know if it actually fits the paintable piece directly onto the chrome piece while taking off the chrome uh, end cap, which it doesn't. So you guys have to remove the bracket behind here get a bracket that's going to be for the paintable piece and then also the top pad so you need the bracket for the left and the right side and the top pad all right thank you guys for watching and if you guys uh have any questions comment down below and i'll answer all those questions for you thank you guys